response. It's the start of February, so I thought, let me just go ahead and provide you guys with some really dope free, free, for commercial use fonts to use for the rest of this month. So uh, yeah, let's, let's get it started. As per usual, do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. It's the first link in the description down below, where you basically all my products, all custom made products by me on my self I page right now, literally all of them on one purchase, plus all future products for free, no matter the price forever. So let's go ahead and start off with the display and the sans fonts are at least gonna keep me happy for the next few months weeks maybe days clash display six styles free obviously but to put it simply this is the only font i'm actually allowed to consider lowercase characters for a typeface i personally have to be like an all cap sans serif type texture kind of person and clash's full set list is just it's just so pretty granted all capitals looks great too but for me clash is tame enough to be used in like corporate identity work while also remaining exciting enough for other like editorial artists it could be for like their self-proclaimed closed aperture design technique it's just really nice like if you don't download it I'm gonna judge you. Next is F-Zero. It's a dope typeface inspired by an old school futuristic racing game on Nintendo, F-Zero, right? That also happened to release like another version of it or like an online kind of, something, something, something happened. I, it re-release? I think it's, I think it's personally just awesome. Just take a quick look at this. Just, it's just it's simple, right? On a black background. Did I convince you? Now up next is Subway. One of the only fonts you actually see in today's video that you can get off of Google Fonts. This graffiti typeface is probably the best font that is not brick by Sesso HQ. But honestly, my favorite graffiti fonts to use because I just think most graffiti fonts for some reason just kind of suck. But Subway, it's it's actually my go-to for like the last few years. I just decided to stop gatekeeping. That's all. Anyway, Bastler, Blast, Bastler, Bastelier, Basteller is next. Bastler has a medieval feel, yet it still has this like elegance with the typeface curves and like the wider serif endings. It just feels like a font that the grunge design lovers would just really enjoy. The lowercase characters of this font is where I would probably find the most use cases. For me, it just shares similar traits to the font known as Angus, a previous typeface I've actually showcased in previous videos. However, Bastler, though its unique angles and organic shapes, it just feels like each character had a less decisive idea on like where it wanted to go, and for some reason just made those characters dope. So if you're having to look for an organic typeface to like add in to your collection, I'd go with this one. Following up is known as Authentic, a font for me that kind of feels like it's in the realm of Basteller, but offers a more like mythical tone, I feel. Probably due to like the dots and characters like the I and the J, I felt this could really highlight an art direction because of its look. And if you want an inspiration on how to like use this font, I would honestly look at the 2018 Riot Star Guardian campaign. Just, just saying. I'd even argue though, in the Authentic font, the capital letters may just feel like a bit sinister and aggressive, which is also a really dope contrast. It's a, it's a W in my book. And just because I love you guys, I want to throw in some of my Sans fonts that I just literally just downloaded. Starting with Violet Sans. Funny enough, the font designers themselves would also probably categorize this font as aggressive yet gentle. And just taking a look, I appreciate the unique approaches to Sans fonts just because I, I, I have I have way too many. But in this context over here, the Y, the M, the W, and also, of course, the zeros themselves and the numbers, it just felt like a really dope typeface choice that just speaks to me. And the last one for this video is known as Rag Rag. Rag samples the ideas from the classic aerial font and the earlier model typefaces. However, it has its unique departures away from your usual consistent expected sans faces. What I can appreciate is the fact that it's actually free for open source, but also the same exact time we have different weights and styles all across the board. Also, I'm just a sucker for like bold typefaces. The black styles, they just fit me, obviously. However, with that being said, that is the end of the video. So hopefully you guys found some typefaces that you would enjoy, because honestly, me, these, these got like a week lifespan. I don't know why, but they do. I'm just unfaithful to fonts. There's a joke here, but I don't want to go that way. Anyway, all the fonts you guys, of course, see in this video will always be in the description down below. And also, there's a one single link that you guys just, you guys just go to that one and then download them all. All the sources are linked below as well. However, with that, that is the end of the video here today. Says so HQ out. Now we got to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay a freaking predator, guys. And I much love peace. And if and only if you guys enjoy the fact, if I were to do these videos every month, just because, would you want that? Like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Thanks. Bye.